what do gamers, helicopter pilots, aerobics instructors, and Madonna all have in common? The answer is that they all deal with really bad audio environments but still need to sound good and need to move around while they do it. The funny thing is, this is true for many content creators too. What if there was a microphone that sounded amazing, was practically invisible, and let you move around as much as you liked while filming? This, this right here, might be the best fix for bad audio I've ever found. I constantly struggle with background noise and room echoes, and I'll bet you do too. And when I first tried this, this face microphone, I thought to myself, why didn't I know about this years ago? Is this thing on? Hey, it's Matt Haynes, and if you are new to this channel, welcome. My only goal with this channel is to help content creators like you improve your audio, your lighting, and your video production skills. So back to this thing on my face. This is the Embrace system from Point Source Audio, and in a minute I'm going to tell you why it might be better than a lavalier mic, better than a studio mic, better than a shotgun mic, and if you hate background noise, this mic is just better. Okay, so what's the worst place you can think of to record audio? For me, it's my kitchen. The echo in there is just awful. Wow, this sounds really bad. And if I could successfully record audio there, I would have like reached some sort of kitchen recording nirvana. Later on, we'll actually test this mic in my kitchen and see how it sounds. And I really hope it sounds good because otherwise this entire video is going to be pointless. But first, let me tell you the story about, well, how the Embrace system ended up on my face. You might have figured out that I'm kind of obsessed with background noise and room echoes. And I mean, they're different things, but they're both annoying, and some of the fixes are the same for both. The best way to fix background noise and room sound is, of course, to get rid of the source of the problems. If your cat is meowing in the background, get rid of your cat. If your room has a lot of hard reflective surfaces, either get stuff that absorbs and diffuses the echoes, like back there, or just change rooms. But sometimes you don't have a choice. For example, if you're a content creator making cooking videos in your kitchen, for example, or, or maybe you're making content in a, I don't know, noisy environment like an office, the fix then is to get your mic as close to your mouth as possible. It doesn't get rid of the background noise and room echoes, but it does make your voice that much louder than the background. Yeah, you could use a mic stand and just put the mic right in front of you like that. And yes, you could. <laughs> And yes, you could just, you know, get a wireless mic or something and hold it right in front of your face. And these are all great ways to reduce background noise. But what if you need to move around or use your hands? I mean, you're gonna need something else. So I reached out to Point Source, and by that I mean I pestered them over and over and over, and they finally agreed to send me a mic set to try out. So this one is on loan, by the way. I do not get to keep it. I haven't been paid by Point Source to review this, and I am under no obligation to say anything nice. Okay, so what do you get with this mic set? Well, when you when you first open the box, it's it's almost a little confusing. I mean, you get it looks like a bunch of wires and you get these long plastic things and you get some some foamy things and I don't know, it takes a moment to kind of make sense of it all, but what you get is pretty amazing. First off, there's a very tiny lavalier mic. If you've bought cheap lav mics before, you're going to be in for a big surprise. This is an incredible sounding lav mic, like studio quality, and it's really, really small. Four millimeters in diameter. It's amazing that something this tiny can sound so good. But you also get these, these curvy plastic things, and they're actually patented curvy plastic things, by the way, and they're earpieces. And the earpieces are what turn this from a very high quality lavalier mic into something even more special. Check this out. There's this little channel that runs down the back of the earpieces, and that allows you to run the very thin wire of the lavalier mic through it. The mic element sticks out on one end and the wire comes out the other, and then you could run the wire down the back of your shirt, kind of like what I'm doing right here, and it's out of sight. And then hook up the other end to a wireless transmitter. You can bend these earpieces to fit your head, and I mean really bend them. My contact over at Point Source said, don't be shy in bending them. So to get them into position, you sort of over bend them, and then they relax into the shape you want. Now, there are two ways to wear the Embrace system. Well, actually, there's four ways, but those are sort of variations. Wait, no, five ways. Okay. Let me explain. You can trim the earpieces down depending on how much you want to hide them. And you're you're probably thinking, well, I want to hide them as much as possible. So let's go with the most hideous version possible. 
Not so fast, though, because there are noticeable sound differences depending on how you wear the Embrace mic. So your options are either a very short earpiece, which hides the mic behind your ear and possibly under your hair, or you have a long earpiece, which is more visible along the side of your face, like what I'm wearing right now. And guess which version gives you more gain and cuts down on background noise? Yep, the one I'm wearing, the long one. I even have the mic protruding about a centimeter beyond the end of the earpiece to get it even closer to my mouth. So those are four of the five styles. I'm gonna call it stealth mode and stealth mode, but sticking out a bit and aerobics instructor mode and aerobics instructor plus like I'm wearing. And I am sure Point Source will not approve of those names I've just given the styles, but that's what I'm going with. To get the smaller earpiece style, you need to trim the bigger one down. And I know my first thought was, oh, that. That sounds kind of scary. What if I mess it up? Thankfully, Point Source includes a pre cut example so you can try it and see if you want that stealth mode look. They also include a left and right version of the full earpiece, so you, you've got some options for wearing it. Now, so far, I haven't cut mine down because I prefer the aerobics instructor style. Now, the fifth way to wear this microphone is as a traditional lavalier microphone. And the mic comes with a very simple. Where is it? There it is but pretty effective lav clip. And you just push the wire into this holder here and then you just clip it to your shirt. So now I've got the Embrace mic attached like a traditional lav mic. And like most lavalier mics, the Embrace mic is omnidirectional. And that means it picks up sound from all directions. If you think about it, a lavalier mic on your chest is not actually that close to your mouth. And since the mic is omnidirectional, it's going to pick up room echoes or background noise way more than you might think. And in small rooms like this, a lav mic on your chest, any lav mic is going to pick up a lot of reflections. I can definitely hear more room sound when I wear this on my chest. And now just to compare, I'm using a cheap lav mic. And to be honest, this is the one I most often use when I need a lavalier mic. I bet if you're wearing headphones while watching this, the difference in sound between the Embrace mic and this mic is pretty noticeable. The Embrace sounds really good and this one, and to be honest, I didn't know what I was missing until I tried the Embrace mic. Here's a fun fact for you. These mics were originally developed for the live theater industry and actors need to sing and talk and move around and dance and all that stuff. But if you mount a lavalier mic on your clothing, it will tend to make a lot of rustling sounds if you're moving around, especially if you've mounted the lavalier mic under your clothing to hide it. So your clothing can muffle the audio if the lavalier mic is under a shirt as well. So theater sound engineers had the same problem we have, which is how do you get the mic closer to the person's mouth without them having to hold anything and ideally not have the mic super visible and draw attention to itself. Up until a couple of years ago, the Embrace mics only worked with UHF wireless mic packs. You know, the traditional kind that, um, that look like this. In fact, the Embrace mic has a universal connector that allows you to attach a variety of brand specific plugs like Sennheiser and Shure, and this is Saramonic and others and things like that. And then COVID hit and there was a really high demand for high quality earpieces that could plug into computers and phones and things like that. So Point Source offered a TRRS 3.5 millimeter plug. And all that is, is like a, it's a four ring, uh, plug instead of a three ring like little mini jack and this lets you plug into any headphone and mic combo jack like on a computer or on your phone and that's the version I'm using here. However, you need one more little hack to make this work with a camera because your camera is likely looking for a three ring TRS plug not a four ring TRRS plug. So a little cable adapter makes everything work smoothly. And with this on, you could even plug it directly into your camera if it's close enough, but you could also plug it into a modern digital wireless system like the Rode Go 2 system or the Boya M1 V2 system. And that's how I'm recording this right now, actually. And it works great. Okay, here's the big kitchen test. But to be clear, I am not using the Embrace microphone right now. I'm using the built-in mic on my camera and it sounds pretty bad. My kitchen has a lot of reflective surfaces, hard countertops and things like that. And it just makes it really, really difficult to record in here. And if I start moving around either closer to the camera or further away from the camera, the volume is gonna change, the echoes are gonna change, and it's just not practical to use built-in audio on a camera like this. So let's see how the Embrace microphone is hopefully gonna help improve this sound. So I've got the Embrace microphone on my shirt as a traditional lav mic. And you know what? It doesn't sound that good. It's just too far away from my mouth. And also when I turn my head to the left or I turn it to the right, my mouth is actually moving further away from the lav mic and you can get these volume variations and volume drops 
that you, uh, that it's just kind of annoying. Really, on your chest is not a great place to have this microphone or any microphone if you're in an echoey room. Now, I could move the microphone to my collar like that. Um, however, the volume variations are gonna be even worse. If I turn this way, it gets louder, and if I turn this way, it gets quite a lot quieter. Now I'm wearing it in stealth mode. You can see it right here on my ear. And in one respect, this is way better than on your chest because whenever I turn my head, I'm not gonna get a volume change because the microphone stays the same distance from my mouth at all times. However, this is not the best solution for room sound. And the reason is it's about the same distance away from my mouth as it was on my chest, like about that distance compared to that distance. So it's still picking up a lot of room sound. It's gotta get closer to my mouth. Now I'm wearing the Embrace Mic in Aerobics Instructor mode, or actually Aerobics Instructor Plus mode because it's sticking out a little bit from the uh, earpiece there. And the difference is pretty significant. Yes, you can still hear some of the room reflections, but my voice sounds so much clearer and my hands are free, I can move my head around, and it's pretty darn good for such an echoey environment as this kitchen. But not you know, perfect. As you might have guessed, I do have some issues with the mic. And the first issue is minor, but I shouldn't have to buy a third-party adapter cable to make this work. I should be able to buy some sort of content creator kit from Point Source. Hint, hint, Point Source. That gives me both a three-ring TRS and a four-ring TRS connect TRRS TRRS connector already in the package. And I mean, I rarely make content with my phone, so I'd pick a three-ring connector any day. Maybe I should just call them three ring and four ring connectors. Okay. Like I said, this is pretty minor because an adapter cable like this costs like maybe under 10 bucks. And oh, by the way, if you want a link to a cheap adapter that I know works, check the video notes. The next issue I have is the box it comes in. I mean, the packaging is fine. It looks good, but this, this might consist of a bunch of wires and small plastic pieces and some accessories and the box feels kind of messy when I put everything away. And they do sell an organizer pouch, but I don't know if it's any better. I can't tell because their website only shows a photo of the outside of the pouch. And be careful when you're putting this microphone away because it is a kitten magnet. If you are putting it away and there's a kitten within about three miles, they will come running and they will attack the cable. And uh, this is Banksy, by the way. And finally, you really need to be a little careful with this mic. Now, it is professionally designed for pretty extreme environments, and the mic is even waterproof, so you could sweat on it and the mic won't just pfft, die. And it also has a one-year warranty, but the wire is thin. I mean, it has to be thin so it doesn't weigh your ear down, but I mean, look, let's, let's put it this way. It's as durable as you can make a very thin wire, but you could still break the wire with a hard pull or even crimping it accidentally. Now, I don't recommend plugging this directly into your camera, even though you could, because it would be so easy to just walk away and forget you're plugged in. But that's not gonna be a problem if you use a wireless system. I'm kind of nitpicking with these issues though, because the Embrace Mic is such a perfect solution for a lot of content creators. Now, it's not cheap, so it might not appeal to beginning YouTubers, for example. But if you want info on current prices or, or just more info on the Embrace Mic in general, please check out the affiliate link I put in the video notes. I am pretty obsessed about background noise, as you can probably tell from the recent videos I've made. The Embrace mic is definitely a solution for that. However, it's not the only solution. In fact, one of the most frequent questions I get from viewers is, how can they get rid of background noise? So recently I made a video that will help you get rid of background noise and room echoes, because they're both awful, and get you sounding like a professional. And you can watch it right here.